See? It's the stout he's gonna get Liam. <laughs> Just watch. It's not there. You already know what happened. I only know because my grandfather told me when I was sick. It seems William is enjoying your play, Father. I'm happy he's found something to get his mind off everything else. William has grown into a fine young mouse. He's taken quite a liking to the young scouts. You know, he told me that Sophia reminds him of a certain someone. A certain someone? Who? Why, you, of course. Oh, goodness. I am nothing like Sophia. There are so many ways that I have failed him as a parent. I mean, his father... William is a wise dibbon and an understanding one. He'll be all right. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh. Where have you been, Matthew? You missed the whole second act. <laughs> uh, uh, so sorry. Uh, I think I got that cold you had, William. I barely convinced Mum to let me come back and see the rest of the play. Come on, you just made it in time for Act Three. Uh, what's going on? Liam is going to get eaten by stones. <laughs> what I miss? You guys, I want to watch. Well. We've got to get Matthew up to speed. Liam made it to the lighthouse, but with scum snout hot on his heels. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How did he get to the lighthouse again? And, uh... <laughs> oh, I was scum snout there. Scum snout and his rats attacked Lily Grove. Remember? It was the night that Liam was awarded the title of Eagle Eye and initiated into the Lily Grove Scout Corps. But scum snout and his sea rats attacked. And so Captain Robin sent Liam to light the Lily Grove Lighthouse. Oh, right. I remember now. But then Scumsnout sent him flying off the lighthouse tower with his massive tail. But don't worry, Liam was okay. He landed in a pile of hay. Sophia had been bitten by Scumsnout, whose drool was as poisonous as an adder. Ew! She needed a healer. So Robin sent Liam and Sophia to the Winsome Wraith, where an old friend of his would be able to help them. Of course Liam had some trouble along the way to the Wraith, but Fraby and the more Glimber joined in the help. They made new enemies too, like the Sea Rat Captain, Cheese Thief. Cheese Thief was after the mice because he knew they had a special key, the Tanagram. Then, in Pontederia, Liam had to battle Scumsnout again. What is that weird problem? Scumsnout chased Liam over the docks and bridges of Pontederia. Finally, Liam jumped across and Scumsnout... Well, he didn't make it. It's about time. He fell down into a giant sinkhole. And they all found the winsome wraith. There was just one... Catch! The healer was a stout. A stout? But aren't stouts dangerous? I guess you'll have to find out. And what makes you think we want to help you, little mouse? Well, we uh... stand down, Bolo. Now, scout, you said. Robin sent you. 
Yes, that's right. Please, it's my Sophia here. She's being poisoned. Captain Robin said you could help her. Of course we can. They're strangers. That's enough. Both of you. Oh, the mouse does look in a bad way. You better come inside. Welcome to the Winsome Wraith. This is my son, Bolo. My daughter, Mila. Hi. You'll have to forgive us for frightening you. We have a standard protocol for strange visitors. I wasn't being frightened or... Hey. No. What's happened to this young mouse? She was bit by that wretched wear it scum snout. The one with the infectious snout? I see. Come, here's the infirmary. I'll see to Sophia immediately. Your friend's not looking too good, eh? Great diagnosis, Bo. Shut up, Toad for brains. Enough. Lie her down here. Ouch. Ouch. What were you doing around a wear it anyway? Bolo, please fetch the fever few from the pantry. Hurry now. I... Oh, fine. Mila, my flower, I need you to stir this mix. Keep it to the flame, but do not let it boil. Yes, Papa. Mm. It smells worse than ever. What you're smelling is rot. The broken skin has gone black with infection, but it hasn't yet spread to the blood. There's time, but not much. Oh, bust the blight. We need more ginkgo before the tincture gets too warm. Can you fetch it from the back shelf? It will smell like this leaf here. Right away. Valerian. A sleeping herb that will help Sophia get the rest she needs. I believe the jar on the shelf here is empty, but uh, you can find extra on my bedroom's nightstand. Head to the port side of the ship and look for the room that smells like me. You'll know it when you sent it. Just in case. Hello, Glimber. Oh, hello, Mr. Liam. I must say, this whole ship be much cosier than I did be imagining. I do be liking that little Mila. She did give all your flower from her collection, she did. Her. How welcoming. What sort of flower? Oh, I don't know. I was too shy to ask her. Was a pretty one, though. Said she'd be helping me put in my fur later. Her. I do like flowers. How are you doing, Linda? Oh, I'm okay. A bit better than I would have been thinking I'd be. That's wonderful to hear. You do seem a bit less shaky. Oh, maybe it'd be just we finally somewhere cozy. Let's hope we don't run into any more rats here on out, wouldn't you say? I sure don't want to be messing with no rats again either. 
I think I've had enough for one day. Maybe a whole lifetime. -er. I'll be here, waiting for supper to enter my stomach. Like Martin, they've got dinner cooking for us. Ooh, my stomach sounds like a growling wildcat. I'm just so worried about Sophia. Ah, don't you be quivering your tail off, Liam. Robin said Valo's the best healer south of the Red Wall. Plus, Sophia's a fighter. I'm not worried. How are you doing, Freddy? I'm afraid I've been so preoccupied with Sophia's condition. I haven't checked in on you. Don't worry about me. I'm great, although this journey has been rather exhausting. I'm so grateful you're here with us, Freddy. I couldn't have made it here without you. Truly. Well, I did save our tears a few times. Still, I think you're the right person to be carrying the tangram. Well, you'll surely be safe in Valor's paws here. Aye, that's what Captain Robin says. Something on your mind, Liam? It was really just a few days ago when we were back home in Lilygrove. With no idea we'd be facing the rats. Flying with an owl, flooding a mole camp, and now, befriending stoats. <laughs> Not to mention knocking the heads of a few dozen sea rats. What do you think comes next, Freddy? Who knows? Eh, but maybe that's part of the fun. At least the Tangram will be safe now. I just want to know what it's for. And why the rats are chasing us for it. While we're at it, let's not forget to give the stoats a rundown of those rats, in case they stumble this way. I hope the rats stay clear of this place. But you're right. Of course, you're right. We'll warn them. We'll warn them. We'll chat more at supper. Valerian. Aha! There it is! Let's get this back to Valo.
for so long. But should be enough for a mouse. All right, Mila, that should be enough. Let that cool while we clean and dress the wound. Clear any dirt and fur and make sure it's dry before we apply the salve. Now, Bolo. Bolo? That boy. Please excuse him. Guests are a tricky thing for a scrimbles. Especially so since... <clears throat> it's important I see to the stitching on the bite. Would you go grab the fever few from Bolo? found the fever few yet. If it's not in the pantry, ask Mila. I don't know. But Valo sent you to collect it. I'm not your cabin boy. You have a nose, don't you? Find it yourself. I know I can smell fever few. I follow his scent. I'm sure I can find wherever he hid it. But why would he hide it in the first place? Smell the fever fume. But why lock it in a chest? I'll bet Badger's the biscuits the key is hidden nearby. Found it. Got it. Did Bolo put the fever fume here on purpose? Why would he do that? sent you to collect it. I'm not your cabin boy. You have a nose, don't you? Find it yourself. I know you have it, and my Sophia needs it. Can't you just give me some? Boo-hoo for your Sophia. I told you already, I don't have any. I can smell the fever view on you. You want me to tell Valo you're messing with his medicines? Are you threatening me, Mouse? Ha! <laughs> Get lost. I know I can smell fever for you. If I follow his scent, I'm sure I can find wherever he hid it. But why would he hide it in the first place?
Don't you scout? Oh, Bolo didn't give you too much trouble. Here now, Sophia. Drink this. Thank you for bringing me these ingredients, Liam. Sophia must rest now. For a while. Who is she? It will take some time to settle in her system, but it will slow the infection and bring down her fever. In the meantime, I'm sure you are quite weary yourself. Would you care for some dinner? Oh, yes! I made a great soup today. Perfect for warming you up on a cold winter's night. I'll have it heated up in a whisker. Come find me in the galley when you're ready to eat, okay? Wait, no. We didn't only come here for Sophia's sake. Oh. This here is a special key. The tango. Robin said it would be safe with you. What were you thinking, Spring Hunter? What? Liam, where did Robin get this? I don't know. I don't even know what it's for. Only that the rats want it, and it's important they don't get it. Please, Robin trusts you to keep it safe. And I... I don't know what else to do with it. Very well. I'll put this in my study and we will discuss it later. For now, it's important Sophia gets a rest. You ought to as well. Let Mila know when you're ready for supper. Until then, please, make yourself at home. If you'd like to chat with me or anyone else, you ought to do it before we eat. Thank you, Mr. Scrimpool. For everything. Call me Mallow. Any friend of Robin's is a friend of mine. I am quite curious as to what events led to all this. But that can wait for a warm bowl of soup. See how everyone is doing before we sit down for dinner. That was oh, carriage. Uh, horses. Stoke who was friendly before. Well, actually, I've never met a Stoke before. Har's family took an oath a long time ago to not follow the vermin way, to instead heal and help all folk. So, yeah, there aren't many Stokes like him. So, Valor took an oath to turn from the vermin way. Is that why you all live so far away from everyone? Yeah, something like that. Do you have visitors often? Some folk pass through here and there. Pa's friend Jeb lives nearby, but no, not many come by. Most woodlanders don't trust us. Not as stoats. Well, they don't take it too lightly when vermin are kind to woodlanders. They call him a sympathizer. Ah, uh, so that's why you had to be careful when we showed up unexpectedly at your door. Yeah. It's also why we still don't trust you. Has Valor always been friends with woodlanders? I don't think my father's part is really your business. Your mother... Ma's gone. No use talking about it. What happened to your mother? She was sick. Nothing anyone could do about it. Not even your father. Or Redwall. Redwall wouldn't have helped her even if we had asked. And Pa didn't know what was wrong. Ironic, huh? He can save everyone except his own wife. Yeah. I can't imagine how much... Very sorry for your loss, Bolo. Yeah, well, there's nothing you can do about it, so. You and Mila don't seem to always see eye to eye. You know, I had little spits with my siblings growing up sometimes too. She's just so naive. She thinks she's so smart. She can just walk up to Redwall and they'll let her in. You don't want to see her hurt, do you? Of course I don't. She's a stoke. Vermin aren't allowed at Redwall. That's maybe true. I 
have you told her that? I've told her a hundred times. She doesn't listen to me. Don't listen to her big brother someday. Maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> Get on with it then. Do you have many Woodlander visitors, Leela? No. So you're special. I was hoping we might chat for a moment. Of course. What would you like to talk about? I have to say, I've never been in the home of, uh, I, I mean, Stokes before. I wasn't sure what to expect. I really hope you can all feel at home here. father seem quite close. We are. I'm going to be a healer as good as him someday. So he spends lots of time with me, teaching me everything he knows. I haven't heard much about your mother. Oh. Yes. It's been a few hard seasons since she passed away. So sorry. and vivacious. All four of us would go on these long walks through the forest each and every evening after supper. And while Papa gathered herbs, Ma would draw sketches of the trees. She thought trees were the most beautiful things in the world. She'd go on about the life that flowed through the veins and the leaves and how they connected to the limbs, then the trunk, and all the way deep into the roots in the soil, as if the tree were a critter itself. I loved listening to her talk. Wow. I would have loved to have met her. She would have loved to meet you too. What's your brother Bolo like? I admit, he doesn't seem too keen on having us as guests. Oh, don't mind him. Pa says he's going through a phase. Ah well, I was once a teenager myself. I don't see why he has to be so mean sometimes though. But, really? He isn't so bad. He even saved my life from a hawk once. My Martin, you must have luck on your side. I wouldn't call it luck. We are quite the talented sibling duo, you know. Remember, a few seasons ago, when Dryditch Fever came back? Well, I snuck away from home to help Avon find the cure. But I got caught by a hawk. Bolo came to rescue me. Though, I'm sure I could have escaped on my own. Awful spring. We were lucky the feed didn't quite reach Lily Grove before the cure arrived. But so many other critters didn't share our work. Aye. But you know, I helped Avon get the cure to Redwall just in the nick of time. Now, Liam. About Sophia. I'm sorry to say, but my remedy for her is only temporary. What do you mean? What she needs is calendula. I've seen the worst of Adamite's healed with it, but unfortunately, the flower doesn't grow here. Liam, you'll need to continue on to Redwall. To Redwall? Can she make it that far? If anyone can help Sophia, it's the Redwall healers. That's why I'm going to work there, too. As if Redwall would allow a stoke to heal their ill. Ha! They will if I'm the best! I'll... Enough. In any case, the Redwall healers are the best. Should make it so long as you hurry. And I know Shortcut to the Abbey. Once there, the healers will heal her up in no time. And you'll be welcome there. Woodlanders are always welcome at Redwall. Yeah, and you're not a woodland. Enough! Well, I 
suppose it's off to Redwall then. And here I thought our journey was over. You're welcome to rest here as long as you need. Now, let's eat. What an amazing feast, Valo. We greatly appreciate you inviting us into your home. And for caring for Sophia. You're very welcome, young scout. Now tell me, how did your betrothed come to be bitten by such a foul beast? Sea rats. They've come much further in than we'd ever expect. God knows why. We had to get Sophia to safety. And for the other reason, I told you. Of course. What other reason? Never mind, Bolo. When Bolo simply won't help, he'll hand it off to the whelp. Uh-huh. What was that? Say it again. When Bolo simply won't help, he'll hand it off to the whelp. Did we miss something? Just a little game of scrimples play. Sending a riddle inside a riddle. At dinner, it's usually something like... Um... Loaf! Bread! When I don't help, Pa calls me a loaf. And I call you a whelp. Hand it off to the whelp. You want me to pass the bread. You solved it! Very clever, my flower. Of course I figured it out, Pipsqueak. That was an easy one. Do you all want to try? Well, that sounds fun. Okay. Here's an easy one to start. With cheese, they come on an adventure to trust the stoats with their treasure. It's cheese? Oh, you mean mice? Us! We came to you on an adventure to trust our treasure... Sophia! We came to ask for your help with Sophia! Ding ding! That's right! Oh, her! I didn't think that might have been the answer. Here's another one, and I'll even give you a hint. It's about me. Winter May brings no showers, but in spring comes a white flower. Uh, perhaps your fur stays white all through the spring? Spring flower? Uh, no. I was trying to tell you that my birthday is in the spring. Let me do one. You're such a hog, Mila. Bolo. Solve this. Not only do the bog toads croak, so do pipsqueaks with too much loaf. Uh, Mila's eating too much bread? He's making fun of me. If you didn't talk with so much food in your mouth, I wouldn't have to. That's enough. I think Liam and his friends have had enough games for the night. What do you say, Liam? Oh, I don't mind. Were you expecting someone? <laughs> it's the rats. They must have followed your trail. You all must go. Go! Hide now! Bolo, show them! I won't leave you. Now! Take your sister! I don't give a mouse's whisker about your property, sympathizer. We're looking for some mice, and we have reason to believe they're hiding with you. What do you call sympathizer, rat? I'm a set of pathetic mice. The game is where it goes, but I skip. Can't you ask you not to clear out as well? But you seem such great hosts.
Afford to spend on Glimber, especially in situations Cutting. like some of these barrels be oh, empty. I'd be sorry, Mr. Liam. Her, where's Mine that pickaxe go? Mr. Freeby. It's okay. Oh, I could have sworn this was what matters. Is that you're all right? Go. Where is Freeby? There was something going on. Why oh, don't we know in her? He'd be disappearing on me. Her. Okay. Must have been more magic. You escape and wait outside, all right? I'll find Freeby. Oh, goodness, I have vermin's be coming this way. Just hang tight, Glimber. I'll find some way to distract Where them. Where are all the good tools? Captain, some of these barrels be empty. Where'd that pickaxe go? Oh, I could have sworn it was a second ago. There was something going on in here. I thought so. I'm not sure I'm a must have been more imagination. Your mouse and mousey. All the old business got something for ya. Half-wit vermin with my paws tied in a burlap sack.
got to find a way to get rid of the rats. Uh. Your little mouth. Where have you gone? break in any minute if I don't stop them. Up there! A mousey in the rafters! So won't go and hit me! I found him! Which way is it to Redwall? I can hardly see where we are. Redwall being that way, Mr. Liam. Er, you mean right through the slough? Portman Slough was a mysterious bog, rumored to have ensnared many wandering critters, woodlander, and vermin alike in its time, none of whom were ever heard from again. 
Now be careful, Liam, will ya? We's all gonna be drowning in this embolger. Is the ship supposed to be glowing? By Martin! The stoats! Stop, Liam! You can't just go rushing into a fire. Oh, I did be seeing these stoaty babes slid out this ship before you did rescue me, Mr. Liam. Boy, you reckon they be out here somewhere with us? What about the tangrum? I left it with Volo. I snatched it from his rum. Soon as the rats showed their faces. Ah, oh, Fraby. Brilliant as always. It was odd. I felt rather like something was calling me to fetch it. I'm sure it was just your quick-witted mind, saving the day as expected. Now, how in Martin's name are we going to get through this? Get out there! 